Hey Loopers, this is Matt McCoy. I'm an Ableton Live certified trainer. And today I'm gonna to show you a little pro tip on exporting stems and naming them. So in Arrangement View, I've got all my stems, right? And I've named my tracks what I want the file names to be. So once I select all and go to File, Export Audio, I'm gonna choose um, all individual tracks. I'm gonna go ahead and export these as WAV files and hit Export. Now I'm gonna just go ahead and create a uh, folder on my desktop called Lion and the Lamb Custom, because I customized this track. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and name my track, so I'm gonna call it Lion and the Lamb, and then I'm gonna name it underscore the tempo, which is 90, underscore B, which is the key, and then I'm gonna do underscore and then just leave it blank, because what it's gonna do is when I hit save, Ableton Live is gonna export all of these audio files, each of my individual tracks, and it's going to save the individual files with whatever the track name is here. So I'll have one called click, and then cues, and drums, and electric, and pad. So let's wait until those are done exporting. So once Ableton Live is done exporting all of your audio, let's go and look at the desktop in that folder and you'll see that there in the folder I've got all these files, all right? I'm gonna go and sort them by kind. I'm gonna get rid of those analysis files because I don't need those. You'll notice that I have a blank one here and this is the master track. This is like everything together, so I'm gonna delete that. Now here's the thing that drives me nuts is that you'll notice that every single audio file is named correctly except for that there's a space in between each stem. So it says B underscore space electric. If you want to get rid of that space, here at Loop Community, we created a special app that will remove that space in bulk. So check this out. I'm going to go ahead and select all of these tracks. I'm going to drag them down into my, um, down here there's an app called Remove Space, this little Loop Community logo. I'm going to click re drop them on Remove Space and check it out. The space was magically removed from every single audio file. And that will save you a lot of time. If you've got maybe 30 audio files, you don't want to have to go through individually one at a time and remove that space. Well, you can use the Remove Space app that we created. It's available to you now in Loop Community Shop. So check it out at loopcommunity.com.